How we doing folks? Today I thought I'd do a quick beginner's guide on hints and tips playing tier 5. Now, a lot of you race up the tiers and you get to tier 5 very quickly. So learn what you're up against. Learn the tanks that you're going to be fighting in battle. Now, as I said, we're on tier 5. I'm in the Semivani. The uh, European Tech Tree Line TD. And it's a good little tank when you get the opportunity to use it right. Now, what are we up against? We've got Mitsu. And a scavenger, that's a stog. T1, an M7. Panzer 4G. And a keyhole. Hmm. Right, that's a stog. This is still got 570. Uh, below that is the Mitsu at uh, the Scavenger at 728. He's got the enhanced armor on. The Stug at 570 is not. He's uh, just using the ordinary T1 Heavy. Standard Tech Tree line, that's the M7, and in front of that is the Mitsu. Japanese Tier 5 Heavy. And it's not fully kitted out. No, it's 740, I don't think. No, I think it's higher than that. I think it goes up to 800 and something. It goes up to 830, I think, when it's fully fitted out. But he's at 740. We're taking him out anyway. As I said, I'm in the Semibanti. Decent little beast. Now, if you look below, just above my, yeah, uh, having my day in seven there. If you look just below my tank and the graphics, you'll see that the camonets are set. Now, this has uh, an arc, an arc of fire, you know, the gun can travel 16 degrees left and right, so if you're, you're in a decent spot, you can set your camonets, not move your hull, but move the gun 16 degrees to the left and 16 degrees to your right, which means that your your concealment isn't broken. The, if you're firing, they can't see you if you're behind a bush. Even better if you're behind two bushes. But uh, it stops unsetting your camo. What would I got up there? A keyhole. He was to go to B1. There's a scavenger. And the scavenger is running enhanced armor. The 724 is usually uh, 710. That's it over there. Panzer 4G. Now you'll see, I don't use markers above the tank who the, who the player is or uh, what clan they're in or what tank it is or whatever. I just use the hit points. That's all I need at the present time. You will start off playing with all the markers, so you'll have four or five lines above that telling you what tier it is, what tank it is, what the player is, what clan he's in, the whole lot. You don't need that after you've played for a while. But while you're a beginner, keep using all those markers until you learn what the tanks are. It will help a lot. Now what we go over there, that's a scavenger that's still sitting there. And the T1 Heavy is still on the left hand side somewhere. He's went off the mini map. Now I'm out of cover but my camo nets are still set but he's out of range. I don't know where that one went but the dispersion on this is... Uh, yeah, it's not a great 0.326 distance every 100 metres it drops so you've got to watch you got to try and lift it, and I didn't lift it on that shot in the scavenger. But he's coming down that hill. Use the mini mark, use the marker, and you'll see him. Another nice little shot in there. I've spotted the T1 Heavy knows where I am. Night, night, he's gone. So it's just myself and the scavenger who has 11 points left. Pay attention to what the enemy has. And where he is on the map, and where he has went to. Now there's only me and him left. He's not in the base because the base is not ticking up. So he knew I was over on the right hand side there, up on that hill ridge, behind the bush. 
he knew that because of his shots were fired. So he, my idea is he's went down to the right hand side, he's went down that hill somewhere trying to see if he can get a shot on or get behind me. So my idea here is to get into the cap, I've got full health left, he's on 11 points, a one shot. Now if I go into the cap he's going to have to try and come and kill me to stop the cap from being taken or take me out. I'm in a TD, he can move his, uh, he can move a lot quicker and uh, he knows I have to turn around to face him. But there he is, he's a one shot, he's tracked me, fixed it, bam. End of five kills, decent enough game. Um, we'll have a look and see where the players are from, whether it was, I don't think it was any bots in that game. Yeah, nice Radley, it was only a second class, it was only 2-6, but it is only tier 5. Um, but 2-6, two, 2-6-7-1, six, two, six, I can't put it up, uh, let me let me have a look and I'll, I'll have a look later and then I'll add it on to the end here. 9-24, 1500, 1600 bowls. 1600 bowels, hubs and tracks. 1500, leopard was 3,500, 2,000 for the scavenger. T1 heavy, 1600, scavenger 661. Whoa, 105, was that? 105,000 bowels, <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, 220, 913, 3,053, and 224. So no bots. But there are hidden things in the game as well. There's little challenges to do. You'll see that I've marked these all off. The senior technical engineer and the expert ribbons have been gained. As have the technical engineer for all the tech tree tanks throughout the game. The expert is when you kill each and every tech tree tank in the game. And once you've killed them, killed them all, you get the ribbons. Now, another thing to pay attention to is learn how to read the battlefield maps. Knowing where the enemy is and what route they're taking is crucial, and that is assisted by using your mini map, whether it's bottom left, top right, whatever you use. Some smaller tips, but you'll pick these up as you go on. Remember, this is a beginner's guide. Remember, use cover when it's available. Buildings, walls, rocks, falling down trees, knock down trees if you have to, and bushes. Stay hull down when you're on the ridges, whenever possible. If you're only showing your turret across and you've got good gun depression, then it saves your lower plate from getting damaged. If you're playing a big, massive, pie-eating heavy tank, use that to shield your meds and your lights whenever you need to. TDs, not so much because they're usually at the back line, especially in lower tiers. Don't go out in the open without looking for the possibility of campers, i.e. TDs in bushes, players that are unaware of how to play the game, sitting in bushes and just popping out watching. And one more before I disappear. If you're in a team of seven and they all go one direction racing round the map and they haven't spotted anything, stop and look behind you quickly because that's where the enemy will be. <laughs> I hope these small tips have helped. Um, rewind the tape, rewind the tape, oh my god I'm showing my age, rewind the video, <laughs> go back, watch the little tips again, pick them up, remember them and try and learn as much as possible. Now as I was saying earlier on, um, if you look at the top spot in the Hall of Fame for the Sim event AM41 Tier 5 TD 2606, so that game would have been a top place. But because I'm below 5,500 battles on that account on NA, it doesn't get included. And if there's bots in the games, they won't be included. Now, Season 4, last year, 2023, Overall in the EU server, 
I got up to third place as uh, I used to post a lot on my, my high scores in there and uh, overall across all servers I got to number seventh place last year but um, that was in season four but I haven't done any this year at all in fact I haven't even played I haven't played EU since uh, long term since about February or March February or something like that and uh, it was yeah after the merger I got disgruntled with it so about four or five months ago I, I opened a new account on NA and I've had a lot of decent games obviously the first couple of hundred battles uh, you're up against a lot of bots in the low tiers, but when you get to tier 4, 5 and 6, especially on the NA server, you'll notice that there are a lot of long-term players playing in the mid-tiers, because when you get to tier 9 and 10, there are too many tier jumpers, too many new players who buy premium tanks or collector tanks in tier 9 and 10. And they start playing in these battles, and they still haven't learned the basics of the game. Um, so the matches become extremely unbearable. Hence the reason a lot of players who have a lot of battles under the belt... Example, 105,000 battles playing in a keyhole, um, tier 4. So you'll find a lot of long-term players playing in the mid-tiers. So don't expect to come up against bots or inexperienced players all the time. You've got to learn how to watch for them. Do they have camouflages on? What type of camouflages? Are they rare camouflages? Are they ones that you could only get doing an event a year, two years, three years ago? It's all little tips that you'll pick up as you play on. As I said, Beginner's Guide to Tier 5 playing the same event AM41 TD European line. If any of these tips help you pr produce better games, then my job has been done and it's been worthwhile. I hope you enjoyed this one, folks. Stay safe out there.